Before catalytic converters were developed, waste gases made by a car engine blew straight down the exhaust tailpipe and into the atmosphere. The catalytic converter sits between the engine and the tailpipe, but it doesn't work as a simple filter, it changes the chemical composition of the exhaust gases by rearranging the atoms from which they're made. Molecules of polluting gases are pumped from the engine past the honeycomb catalyst, made from platinum, palladium, or rhodium. The catalyst splits up the molecules into their atoms. The atoms then recombine into molecules of relatively harmless substances such as carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water, which blow out safely through the exhaust. Diesel engines can and do use catalytic converters, but there are several important differences from how they work in gasoline engines. Instead of three-way catalysts, diesel use two-way oxidation catalysts, and ones specifically designed to work with diesel exhausts, which are significantly cooler than gasoline exhausts. Since they don't have reduction catalysts, diesel engines produce much higher tailpipe emissions of nitrogen oxides than gasoline engines. Catalytic converters on diesel engines do help to reduce particulate emissions, though only slightly, specifically, they tackle one type of particulate known as the soluble organic fraction SOF, made from hydrocarbons bound to soot. Diesel particulate filters have to be used to make a significant impact on an engine's soot emissions. Cars aside, diesel engines tend to power much bigger vehicles than gasoline engines, with considerably greater exhaust output. Instead of a single catalytic converter fitted between the engine and the tailpipe, they may have a number of individual units fitted in parallel to cope with the bigger exhaust gas volume.